Okay guys, there's a few things I need to teach you about your iPad. A couple apps that we're going to use probably every day, and if not every day, almost every day. Um, they're super important. We will use these three things basically every day. Clever, Schoology, and Teams. The great thing is that Schoology you find through Clever. So that'll be real easy, okay? So I'm going to give you a brief tutorial, a little video to show you how to do those. And that way, if you would forget, you can always just come back to my video folder and find them and watch them again. Okay? Okay, guys. So the first thing I'm going to teach you is how to log on to Clever. Because the great thing about Clever is some of our apps you can get to right from there. And they won't even ask you to put your password in a second time. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is wake up your iPad. You do that by simply pressing your home button. And then it wakes up. Now, you'll need to slide up from the bottom in order to put in your passcode. Now, as I told you in a previous video, your passcode is the last four digits of your Weavis number. Now, mine's different. As a teacher, mine's set up in a different format. Okay, so when you do that and you open up, then you're going to go to your iPad's home screen. Okay, now you will notice that I have Clever down on the right side of my dock. There's a little line that separates it to the right of that. These are your frequently used or recently used apps. Anything to the left of that line on your dock are things that you have set there so that they'll be there all the time. Well, you probably won't find Clever right here on your iPad. So what you're gonna have to do is just scan through your screens just by sliding over and look for that big blue box with the C in it. You'll notice that mine is right here. Once you see that, you simply click onto it and then it gives you this option. It says scan Clever badge, which is for like preschool and kindergarten students. We don't have those. Or log in with your username, which is what we want to do. So we touch that. And then you should probably see this screen that you saw last year. And it says log in with Active Directory. And that's what we want to click. So right here beside the four colored boxes, we can tap that. And it'll open up for us. Okay. Now, because my password is stored in my iPad, mine's wanting to put that in, but I'm going to wait and we're going to type it in. So this is set up as the first letter of your first name. So my first name is Rhonda, so it would be R. Then your full last name, so mine would be France with no spaces. And then again, those last five digits of your Weavis number. So 03498 for me. And then for you guys, when you touch password, you will use the last four digits of your Weavis number. Mine, however, is different. So I'm just going to use the one that I have set up. And then we'll hit sign in. And then it takes us to Clever. Now the great thing about Clever is that here in the favorites section, I keep apps here that you're gonna use quite frequently. So they're in one place easy to find. You'll see that here's iReady, um, McGraw-Hill, that's a reading website. We have Spelling City, also Office 365, which is where you can log into your email. Newzella, Pearson, that's another reading site we'll use. And then Schoology. Now, the great thing about Schoology, like I told you earlier, is when you type it, it's not going to ask you to put in your username again. It will simply remember it for you, and it will take you to Schoology, which is going to look like this. Okay? So we'll stop with that for now. If you have any questions, please just re-watch the video. And if there's something you still don't catch, then you can send me a message.